Good morning, everyone. This is Harald Ambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at Iron FX, bringing you the morning comment for the 16th of uh, January. Sterling collapses on anticipation of a hard Brexit uh, speech. The British pound opened with a huge negative gap uh, this week, following several media reports over the weekend that uh, Prime Minister Theresa May will probably deliver hard Brexit signals tomorrow in a speech where she's expected to outline her Brexit plans. The reports uh, suggested uh, that the Prime Minister will indicate she is prepared to take the UK out of the EU single market completely if the bloc is not willing to give uh, Britain control over immigration. GBP USD opened below the key support uh, now turned into a resistance obstacle of 121 and hit, and hit support at 119.50. Then the pair rebounded and is now trading back above the 120 psychological barrier. On the 4-hour chart, the price structure suggests a short-term downtrend, but given that uh, the collapse appears to be overextended, we would stay careful that the current rebound may continue for a bit more, at least ahead of uh, the speech tomorrow. In our view, if uh, Prime Minister May confirms uh, these reports and signals uh, she is indeed willing to follow through with a uh, hard Brexit, the pound could come uh, under some further selling interest as investors discount an even higher probability for the UK to end up with no more limited access to the single market. However, following the weekend reports, investors may have already priced in the scenario for a hard Brexit uh, remarks to a large uh, degree. Thus, any further downside reaction in the pound on the speech may not be that uh, severe. A break uh, back below the 120 psychological zone could aim for another test near the 11950 barrier. Having said that, we would remain careful of a potential sell the rumor by the fact reaction in the pound tomorrow during May's uh, speech. If the reports were wrong and she delivers more moderate soft Brexit comments, that would now come as a surprise to market participants. Thus, potential soft Brexit signals are likely to lead to a strong rebound in sterling, uh, we think. As for today, during the European day, the economic calendar is very light. The only noteworthy indicator we get is uh, Eurozone's trade balance for November, though this is usually not a major market mover. In the US, uh, markets will remain closed for Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Elsewhere, world uh, leaders and key officials will gather in Davos, Switzerland for the 2017 World Economic Forum, though the actual event won't kick off until uh, tomorrow. We have uh, two speakers uh, scheduled for today, Bank of England uh, Governor Mark Carney and ECB Executive uh, Board Member Peter Pride. As for the rest of the week, on Tuesday, as we outlined uh, earlier, market participants will shift their attention to the UK, where Prime Minister Theresa May will give a, key, a keynote speech on uh, Brexit. The UK CPI for uh, December is also coming out. On Wednesday, the first Bank of Canada policy decision for the year will take center stage. In the US, a speech uh, by Fed Chair Yellen on monetary policy is likely to attract uh, ma market attention as well. On Thursday, the ECB will announce its policy decision, followed by a press conference by President Draghi. We think that uh, the focus will fall on how the Governing Council uh, view views uh, the outlook for inflation following the latest surge in the headline CPI rate, which reached uh, its highest level since 2013. On Friday, all eyes will be turned to the US for the inauguration of uh, Donald Trump as the 45th uh, president. Following the absence of any information regarding the government's upcoming fiscal and regulatory policies during uh, last week's uh, press conference, we expect investors to be on the lookout for any comments on uh, these two key subjects once again. As for the economic data, China's uh, GDP for the fourth quarter is due out. From Canada, we get CPI data from, uh, for uh, December, while from the UK, we get the retail sales for the same month. For more information, please read the full comment on ironfx.com or download our app and get all the information you need to trade. Also, you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Harald Ambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, wishing you solid trading.